hello everyone in this video uh, I'm going to show you how to create a graph using network X library in Python so first of all we need to import network X library and in order to show that graph uh, we are going to use matplot library so we will import that library as well So uh, in network X, uh, if you want to create any graph, first of all, we need to create an empty graph. So how to do that? Nx dot graph. So now G, G J empty graph is not having any nodes and there is no edges. So uh, how to add node? So what you have to do? G dot add node, and here you can specify that node number like uh, we are adding a node and that node number is 2 you can add another node let's say 5 if you want to connect these two nodes what you have to write g dot add edge 2 and 5 now if you, uh, you want to add another edge let's say 4 and 1 and if you can see uh, we have not added these two nodes previously so uh, what this network x will do whenever we are trying to add a edge and if those nodes are not available in graph uh, this library first include these two nodes in the graph and then it will connect them so no need to add these two nodes explicitly so you can directly add edges as well and if uh, you are having a list of edges you can do this thing as well like edges from and here you can give your list in this list item r in this manner let's say 2 5 and let's say 1 3 so this list is having uh, two edges information so this will be added in the graph now let's see how to print the information of our graph so in order to print the information you can use uh, your info function of network x library so this will print the basic information how many nodes are there how many edges are there and let's see how to print how to draw it so nx dot draw g so it will draw your graph but uh, if you will run this program you won't see any graph because in order to see that graph you need to run this function as well plt dot show let's see the output so this one is the basic information for our graph number of nodes number of edges this is the average degree including in degree and out degree and this is the corresponding graph thank you very much for watching